here's a kit from Amazon made by Tenai, T-E-N-I-I, about $60, and uh, to teach her kids from eight years old about electricity and magnetism. And I remember when I was eight years old, I got a some kind of a kit, a similar idea, and uh, ended up getting a degree in electrical engineering and working for 35 years as an engineer. So uh, this is for 60 bucks. This looks to be like a lot of you know, like, uh, worth it. I mean, it looks like it's 70 pieces here. Your voltmeter, ammeter, resistors, and connector assemblies, and then a uh, instruction book with a um, list of experiments. And what can you learn about Light bulbs, series and parallel circuits, ammeters, current, resistance, volts, magnetic fields, magnetism, motors, perennial fruit battery, the electric bell with a solenoid, and uh, I haven't read this book, but it looks like it's pretty well organized. It's got nice pictures. It's not too long, not too detailed. Yeah. Series in parallel, that's useful. How to hook things up. And, uh,. There's an example, like a switch component, and this one has spring connectors, where you put the wires in springs, some of them have screws. These are for light bulbs, I guess, they give you a pack of these <coughs> small light bulbs, and they screw in here, and then you can have three of them and hook them in series or parallel. It's the same kind of spring connector here. This is interesting, a resistor bank. I noticed, uh, I don't know if you can see, but they're wire wound resistors so they're not coated. You can see the 5 ohm, you can actually count the number of windings, and then the 10 ohm has tw twice the number of windings. And the 15 ohm has three times the number of windings. It's a very visual representation that resistance is proportional to length in a conductor. Then here's a normal color-coded resistor. And then you also get two motors. I like these motors. <laughs> these are fun. This one's already built. Some of these kits you have to wind it yourself, but you can take the magnets out and show that it doesn't work with without magnets. And the magnets... Uh, it has the armature. And then there's uh, the brushes, are just little foil, like leaf springs. And uh, I don't know if it focuses, but yeah, so there's like four contacts on the armature. So that's kind of fun. And then there's uh, a packaged motor with the gear and you can connect it and 
hook it up to this reduction gear. I guess it fits in here and then you can connect something out here and maybe do like a position or turn. I don't know what the experiment is though. There's iron powder. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then they give you a couple, three magnets, and these are pretty good. They're not neodymium, but they're fairly strong. They're good for the iron filings, anyway. Can look at the field lines. And then some battery connectors, so you can hook up your power supply. This is kind of neat, a rheostat, which is a wire-wound resistor. And uh, I used to use these in Physics 101. I remember the big ones from, uh, I forget the name of the company, but they were old, from the 1800s, 1880s, 1890s. Big old rheostats. So this is rated at 20 ohms and 2 amps. So I squared R. I squared would be 4 times R is 20. It would be 80 watts. That might get fairly hot. But I remember the big rheostats on the bench. Those are like 200 watts. And then they, of course, got to have a compass. They can play with a magnet and uh, so for sixty bucks, you know, get the connector wires. After all, already nicely, they have a the tabs on them. That's nice. Well, I guess the final experiment is you make a solenoid uh, bell. Here's a solenoid already wound. So they take the fun out of it by winding it for you. And this mounts in here, and I guess you make a circuit. So you have to figure out how to wire this so that the current will energize the solenoid, pull the clapper back, break the circuit, and then make it attract again. So, it's kind of, so I guess the idea is the circuit breaks and then the coil loses energy and then it retracts or something. So that would be, that would be an interesting thing for kids actually see what current can do something mechanical like this solenoid. So, looks like a fun kit. It's too bad it's a little too expensive to buy one for every kid in a class, I would think. But uh, you can, it doesn't rely on one breadboard, so maybe four kids could use this at a time. Probably you could have four different experiments going out of one kit. So, it's a uh, fairly good setup for the basics of electric electricity and magnetism, I think.